Next, click on the Object Privileges tab. Click on the Select Object Type button on your right to see the pull-down menu. Select Table Field from the pull-down menu and click on the Add button as shown. In the Add Table Object Privileges screen, choose the table object by clicking on the searchlight. After selecting the schema, click on the Go button to see the tables in this schema. Click on Select All to select all the tables in this schema. Click on the Select button to return to the previous screen. Now that the table objects have been selected, you need to select the privileges as shown in the screen. Click on the OK button when the Privileges selection has been completed and to return to the previous screen. Now you can see the table objects and object privileges selected for this user account. You can click on the Show SQL button to review the SQL statements. After reviewing the SQL statements, click on the Return button. Next, click on the OK button to complete creating the user account. Note the update message showing that the object has been created. You can scroll down the screen and see the new user account in the list. You can select the new user account and click on the View button to view the properties of this user. You can edit these properties by clicking on the Edit button as shown. Since we do not want to make any changes, click on the Revert button. Now click on the Users button and check again that the user's account has been created. You can log out by clicking on the Log Out button on the top right-hand corner. Congratulations! You have successfully created a new database user account.